How did you want to become a firefighter? I wanted to become a firefighter because I saw these guys as superheroes. I saw these guys as bigger than life. And it wasn't until I got into the job that I realized that we are just human. I've seen more in one day than probably someone has seen in their whole life. What kind of things do you see? I see faces of death. I see old people, young people, kids. Um, they're images that are hard to erase. And it doesn't hit me until I get home that I can't fix someone's death. I can't fix someone who is broken. I can't fix these things in my head that make me feel like that I'm crazy. Who talks about that? The only time you see a firefighter crying is one of their coworkers die. Okay. Can you tell me about one of those times when you weren't able to save someone? I went on a call where a young girl in her early 20s was uh, partying on top of an apartment building and she fell and tumbled and hit the sides of the walls and was killed. But she still had signs of a little bit of life in her. And I was a person doing compressions on her, but I didn't realize later on that this event was going to send me into a tailspin. Some of these calls just mess you up, and this call messed me up. I wanted to start drinking, so I'd mask these feelings and these emotions. And it didn't help. I would use prescription pills only because I just wanted to get numb. You were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress injury, PTSI. Can you tell me about that? I'm healing from my injuries. I'm not gonna be completely healed because I just went on a call last week that messed me up. But I get through them quicker because I'm not drinking. I'm eating cleaner and stair climbing. Tell me how you go from using alcohol as a means of escape to climbing stairs, a new ritual. Using drugs and alcohol, you get high. Doing stairs, I get high. I try to get in 10,000 steps a day, and mentally it's, it's a great escape because you're able to really get out of yourself. I began to realize that I'm trying to control things that I have no control over. I'm trying to control death. I can't control death. So I focus on trying not to think. I focus on just trying to get myself up the stairs. And then I just focus on just being positive. I started organizing my coworkers to join in and do this climb as a tribute to the guys that were killed in 9-11. So now we start wearing gear start wearing our bunker pants and our firefighting boots and we wear our helmets and you get to a point where you just want to quit and then I think about the people who cannot do this the people that aren't here anymore you know? the stairs are a metaphor to life it's one step at a time all of that excitement energy sweat Tears, it's uh, contained until you get all the way up to the top where you just like explode and just feel like the sky open up. It's a feeling that everyone should experience. And I think that a lot of people think that they can find that in a pill by the bottom of a glass. You don't have to go there. And then when you're able to really get that big breath of fresh air, you're breathing in life. It's amazing.